Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. <laughs> we last left off, we had slain two men, and I have a sneaking suspicion, uh, suspicion, suspicion, that we did it without cause. <laughs> At least for the moment, we did it without cause. Um, let's just really quickly read someone to give us this quest here. Someone to. I must now find the incarnate passage. The lady, I must find the cavern. I must solve the riddle. Number two called the riddle wisdom test. He says, seek counsel of the wisdom of the tribes to find the way. So let's have a word with a few people here. Hello. Eye of the needle. Yes, I'm sorry. I don't feel comfortable telling you. What? Why? Why not? What about you? You have slain one of my people and must pay with your life. There is no escape. What? Oh, I don't want to fight people. There okay. No well, look, if you're going to be like this, I'm afraid... You in the... uh. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to have to slay this entire town. Well, at least our shot bay is increasing. Look, friend, <coughs> it's best that you don't engage me like this because you will die. <coughs> really, and it, no one will know that you're gone, my friend. It's not advised. I'm a particularly souped up character. We've got all kinds of things on our side. And you're just wearing chitin armor. I'll have to take your bows. Sorry about this. Very inconvenient and rather embarrassing. <sighs> Master's Guahide. Hmm, that looks like a quest item. I'll dispose of your corpse. Is there something I can do for you? We don't need that, we don't need that. We'll take these chitin arrows. We'll take these flame arrows. We don't need that, don't need that. Oh, Master's Quahide. We'll take that, certainly. What have we got here? Hex Charm. Damage Look. On Touch. To be honest, it doesn't really tickle my fancy. Oh, bother. I do not want a chitin short shot. And who else? Who else succumbed to our mighty power? You. An unfortunate fellow, I think you got caught in the cross. Right, after we've decimated this population. Hello. You will suffer greatly. Uh do you think talking to these people Oh no, lady Die. I don't want to have to fight you as well. <gasps> I don't know if this is a really bad idea. I don't know if I'm just wiping these people out. They should stop fighting me, for goodness sake. I think they should learn their lesson. Right. Hello. She doesn't seem to be too phased. Neither do you. I've need. Alright. Well, how about I uh, make it worth your while? Now, what about now? There we go. That's all we wanted to do. We didn't want to kill anybody. We just wanted to have a little chat. Goodness sake. Perhaps you mean the needle. It is a tall rock column in the Valley of the Wind. I have slipped beneath it once or twice. The Valley of the Wind is a valley in the northeast slopes of Red Mountain. The entrance to the valley is marked by an era's teeth. What are these? Aran's teeth are two stone spikes at the mouth of the Valley of the Wind. The Valley of the Wind runs south from the sea in the northeast of Vardenvel. East of the Dwemer Botrand East of the east of Daedric Zergon Nepal, uh, we steer away from the valley. The wind ha howls and the spirits always awake. Daraleth ancestral tomb is in this valley. It is foolish to disturb the spirits in in their resting. It also says uh, the valley of the winds slip beneath the skies. Let's talk about the valley of the winds then, shall we? we haven't really talked about spoke about that. There are two valleys side by side in the northeast slopes of the West Mountain. It's called Dry Camp Valley and the Camp 
and the camps have no water, but they are sheltered from the wind. Dunnak caverns are also there. The valley of the wind is the, um, is the eastmost valley and runs straight south between Arian's teeth and climb towards the Red Mountain. The mouths of these valleys are to the east of the coast. Right. So, somewhere round... Ah, look, 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 look. There's a valley sort of shape here. You see that? So I wonder if that's what they mean. I presume that is that that is what they mean. So do you think we should head there, or where we are now? Tell Fur, try and get a boat up to Tell Mora, or I mean, Dagon Fell, maybe I don't know. To Voss probably is with the most direct route. But that definitely looks like a valley leading into... I don't know if that's the right place. I mean, there's also a valley here, but I presume... It's near here, so that's where... That's where we should go. That's where I'm hedging my bets. So, uh, actually, the best thing to do would be divine intervention from this point. Okay, see you later, guys. What's happening? Come on. Divine intervention. Take us to Sadrith Mara. We'll catch the boat from Sadrith Mara to... Uh... Actually, we should have healed up after we'd massacred half of that tribe. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so colonial. So... So... 1900s... No, actually. 19th century. Quite, not quite 1900s. <laughs> I can't even remember the 1900s. Not all of it, but some of it. I was there for. Hello, Outlander. Friend. I haven't much time. Good. That, neither do I. So how about we get on with it? Um, I can't remember if any of them are near where we want to go. What's the Voss? Telmora. Can you take me to Telmora, friend? You can. Right, good. Take us there. Because we have some business to be had. I'm waiting. Hello, lady. Can you take me to Voss? Because I'm very lazy. <laughs> Super lazy. Only one gold. Must right, so now we're on the mainland. Got boots of blinding speed, so we should get there in no time at all. Do we? Off we go. In this general direction. So it's times like these, I think, that we need a little chat, really, don't we? I sh shouldn't keep flicking to the map so often. But, uh, what's going on with me? <laughs> Well, I'm moving home. That's what I'm doing. Got a new place to live in. Place that's better and not r as awful as... Well, actually, this place is not too bad, but the new place is much better, which is good. It's also cheaper, believe it or not. I think it's the area that is it. It's not that it's a bad area, it's just not... It's just not... As... A brilliant area is where I'm at now, so that's good. But hopefully, hopefully, we've just got the I got the internet sorted yesterday at the place. So I was like, right now I can live here. It's <laughs> <laughs> where my priorities are. Without the internet, goodness sake! I'd are we actually in the valley? This is this is like a valley, isn't it? This is the tomb that we were talking about. I'm very excited. Oh, is this a valley? Should we follow this valley towards... <laughs> Should we follow this valley this direction? I don't know. We've kind of just stumbled across this almost by accident. I don't know if this is the right way. 
little fence there. We're looking for a giant pillar, a giant column called the needle. We're winding around rather precariously. Oh my word. What the hell is this? Well, there's a moon and there's a star. Caverns of the Incarnate. The door is locked and will not open. Right. I think we found where we're looking for, you know. <laughs> so let's save up. I think next episode is going to be very exciting. But that obviously will be for next time, guys. No sneaky peeks today. So until then, <laughs> until, until tomorrow, t when we get go through these doors here, um, I want you to stay safe, take care of yourself, and goodbye.